Good evening, neighbor. So today we want to talk about takeoff and makeup. I know that can be kind of a confusing um, understanding and when it comes to fittings and when you're doing your measurements. Um, so usually you're going to deal with takeoff and makeup in um, the fittings you'll mostly come across is going to be cast iron, could be SV, and it's going to be copper, and it's also going to be PVC. So those are your main um, uh, pipe uh, materials that you're going to use takeoff and makeup. Obviously, there's probably more uh, that I've never come in contact with. Glass fittings, um, whether it be lead fittings. Obviously, we don't use those. I don't even know if they have lead fittings. But um, so we're going to go over takeoff and makeup. So as you see, we're going to use a 90 degree. Um, this is a half inch uh, solder fitting uh, for copper. And so the biggest um, and easiest way to figure out how to what how to configure what takeoff and makeup is. is so this line right here there's actually a little cup and I'm sure you can see that this right here this cup is what your pipe actually goes into and this is what we call makeup so this doesn't actually go against your overall length of measurement so when you're measuring things usually you're going to be measuring from center to center uh, or you're going to go from end to end so usually when you're getting a measurement from your journeyman or you're conveying a measurement, uh, we're going to want definitely your center to center measurement or your end to end, -to -end measurement. Uh, if you're uh, an apprentice like me, you're going to be doing, um, your journeyman will generally give you center to center because they want you to practice doing your takeoffs. And so every fitting is going to have its own takeoff. Uh, Charlotte uses a PVC and a cast iron fitting book, which gives you all of the measurements and takeoffs of each fitting. Um, I think uh, Vega is also ProPress fitting, uh, solder fittings. I don't know if they have an actual takeoff book, um, but usually the best way that we do it in the field uh, is you're gonna put it up, butt it up against the flat surface, and you're gonna measure to the actual center of the fitting. So if we say that this fitting is, we'll call it one inch. Uh, so we're measuring from this line of the fitting, you're measuring from center line here to center line here. So what we're looking at is how much of that right here, if you go from here to here, you're looking at about an inch. Now you have to take off your makeup though. And if your makeup, let's call it half an inch, um, that leaves you half an inch, right? So half an inch of makeup is that fitting that your pipe goes into. So this, this portion right here, we'll call that half an inch. Now there's this void space, right? This void space is a measurement. Because when you take measurements, you're not going, uh, you are gonna measure from center to center, but that's not how the pipe actually measures out. So you have this void space is what we call the takeoff. Okay, so if you have a center to center measurement, you take your takeoff, which we had just established, uh, to center of fitting, it's gonna be one inch. The actual makeup is going to be, we'll call it half an inch, just to make it easy. So you have center to center, so you're going to take 10 inches, but you're going to subtract half an inch. So that's going to leave you with an end-to-end -end cut of nine and a half inches. Uh, and that can be really confusing at the beginning of understanding what it is that we're actually talking about. So we have a half an inch makeup and a half inch take off. You're not going to have to worry about your makeup because you're only measuring the distance, that void space between the makeup line and to the center line of your new run. So you have this much is half an inch, but your pipe's already going into there. So your measurement is fine up until that point, but you're trying to figure out what is this void space from here to your new center line. And we've established that on a half inch copper fitting, it's half an inch. So your overall measurement, if you have a 10 inch measurement from center to center, you know you need to take off half an inch. Also, don't forget that a 90 has two sides. So if you have another 10 inch run over to here, you're gonna have another half inch void space, right? So doing takeoff and makeup might look confusing at the beginning because you're going to have that on all 45 fittings, 22 and a half degree fittings. Um, and, and so in your book, your PVC, your cast iron, your SV, your copper, your ProPress, they're all going to have different takeoff 
and makeup. Um, but the easiest way to understand uh, for me was to just to realize that the makeup is actually what your pipe is already going into. What you're trying to figure out is this void space. Um, and, and all of those fittings, I will reiterate, yeah, they're all going to be different. So, um, but once you usually have a copper fitting, also depending on the brand that you have, um, there might be subtle variances um, in those uh, pipe fittings. So hopefully takeoff and makeup will make more sense as you get into it. The best way to do it mathematically is get your center to center, find out what your center is, and then find out how much your makeup is. And then once you can get that, you can get an end-to-end -end measurement. Hope you guys are doing well. Keep it up. Stay tuned.